Hi everybody, so this is a video only on Canada. Um, so if you go and check out my day three master cleanse, I do talk about, at the end of the video, I talk about what it is and who it affects and what happens. Um, again, if you want more information, you can just Google side effects of Canada or yeast infections. It does cause all kinds of really crazy side effects um, that vary all over your body and you could be suffering from Canada and you would have no idea that that's what it was causing, that's what was causing your, your problem. So if you had like re reoccurring headaches, it could be from a yeast overgrowth. So um, I should probably start by saying that I am in no way, shape or form qualified to give anybody really any type of health advice. Like I am just a 22 year old, I have a journalism degree um, and I enjoy researching stuff online. But I am not a doctor and I, I have no type of qualification at all. So if you do think that you may be suffering from yeast or the best thing that you should do is you should go see your doctor um, or a natural natural path. That might be another option for you. But I am going to do a little video about what I have discovered online. So I have spent hours <laughs> researching this online, trying to figure out what is wrong with me and how to fix it. So um, basically the first, I would say, six or seven Google pages, if you Google Canada infection or treatment, um, are run and owned and operated by drug companies. So just be very careful when you go online because a lot of, I guess, drug-related treatments, often you'll click on a website and it looks like the whole website is set up so it looks like it's just an information uh, like hub. So like a forum or... Um, like a resource center sometimes they look like and then you sort of dig a little deeper and you actually find out that the whole website is just selling a product so that happened to me two or three times and I was completely taken aback um, and often it's the same product like you'll go you'll click on one website and it looks a certain way and it's set up a certain way and then you you kind of go through the steps and you realize that it's they're, they're selling a product and then you click two or three websites down and it's the same, it looks totally different. It looks like a totally different website and it's a totally different forum, totally different people, like, but it's actually owned by the same company and they're, they're just trying to sell a product. So just be really careful and conscious of that when you are doing research online. Um, I did come across a slideshow made by um, a group of health professionals and professors um, based out of a university in the United States. Um, they conducted a study of 3,000 people who thought that they were suffering from or some type of Canada yeast overgrowth. Um, and they, it seemed to me, now I might be wrong, but I couldn't find any other motivation for the study other than purely research for the university, um, finding out more about the problem. So uh, I, I went through their slideshow and you know there's many graphic photos and they talk about yeast affecting different areas of the body. So yeast can grow um, in your in your mouth. It's called thrush. Uh, you can Google that as well if you want photos. So basically your whole your like your tonsils in your mouth just get really like white and gross and your the yeast overgrowth starts in the mouth um, and then there's also yeast overgrowth in your colon um, and again if you look at it like if you look I don't know what kind of I guess they put cameras at people's butts or something but it's like again it's like a white sort of film on the colon and in the digestive tract um, and then it, it can also live vaginally um, and in extreme cases the the candida can go into your bloodstream um, but I think that that's pretty rare so the six, I guess, most potent treatments that these researchers found after studying um, the stools of 3,000 people um, were, here's the list, okay? 
So the first one is caprylic acid. So caprylic acid is um, eight saturated fatty acids, and it can be found in like dairy milk, so cow's milk, or goat's milk. Um, it's also found in coconut milk and palm kernel oil. Um, it's also, interestingly enough, used uh, as like a detergent or as a spray in a lot of like schools or nurseries um, or even like veterinary clinics as an antifungal or antibacterial like detergent, like cleaning agent, which is interesting. Um, I did not find that at my health food store. I, I went to Planet Organic in Calgary and I looked for quite a while and it was not there. So good luck to you if you, if you can find it, kudos. Um, so another one is Berberis vulgaris, which is barberry, B-A-R-B-E-R-R-Y. I did not find barberry either in my health food store. Um, Berberis aquifolum is Oregon grape, which I did find. So Oregon grape I found in tincture form. And I personally think that tinctures are better than vitamins or like, like whole vitamins you swallow just because all you're getting is exactly what you want. There's nothing else in this except Oregon grape root extract. Um, so it says on the bottle, liver support and blood detox. What you do is, I'll show you. So here's my lemonade. Um, I am going to be adding these tinctures to my lemonade. So you open this cap, you squeeze and release. So then this, here's your like tincture thing. So I am doing 20 drops. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, that's approximately 20 drops. Um, so I just added in my lemonade and I don't even taste it. I honestly don't taste it at all. Um, so you can buy this. This was $15. It's probably gonna last three months minimum. Um, and yeah, liver support and blood detox. And according to these scientists, it also is really great for killing yeast in your body. So there you have it, Oregon grapefruit. So that's one of them. Um, another one is allium sativum, which is just garlic. So I mentioned garlic in a video a couple days ago. So garlic is a superfood. It's incredibly good for you. It's best if you can eat it in its raw form, um, which is difficult. Um, I've tried to eat raw garlic, like just in general, incorporating in my diet, and it's very hard. I, I like a few days ago before I started the master cleanse, I had a bagel and cream cheese, and I cut up two cloves of garlic and put them literally on the cream cheese, like, because I figured it would taste good, and it, it tasted good, but it was just so strong, and it's just, you smell so bad, and it's, it's hard, it's hard to eat raw garlic, um, but it's good cooked as well, um, and you can buy it in, like, a supplement form, I, I don't think you can buy it in a tincture form, I don't, I don't know of a tincture form of garlic, but you can definitely buy it in almost every pharmacy, um, in the vitamin section, like, like they're little pills and you can take them. Um, and two more. So there's Juglans Nigra, which is black walnut, which I also found. This was like $15 as well. Um, again, tincture form. So the only thing in here is black walnut extract. And this on the bottle says antiparasitic. So, um, this one is take 20 to 30 drops three times a day. So again, I'm just gonna do 20 drops in my lemonade. I'll go quicker this time. Um, this does have a um, alcoholic taste. Again, I don't taste it with the lemonade, but um, in just a plain glass of water, you might taste a little bit like, like alcohol, alcoholy, but um, it's really nothing like it's it's so cheap and it's so it's it really doesn't it's so like easy um if you really think you have any type of yeast oh my gosh just go to your health food store and spend 15 bucks and add it to your day like if someone had told me three years ago that if you take black walnut and oregon grapefruit which is 30 bucks every three months take even you know one one dose a day 
um, can help keep the yeast gone, like, I would have, I would have totally done it, and I don't know, just don't wait, because within one month, literally one month, I went from totally healthy to dermographism, yeast overgrowth, and a bunch of other problems because of it, so just, I don't know, try and keep it at bay, and it really does, it's, it's such a common thing, and, and it really is probably in your system already, so just don't let it get out of control like I did. So the last one is olive leaf, Olea europea, um, which I also found. I did, I couldn't find this in tincture, so I bought it. It was like 16 or $17, I think. There's 60 capsules, and you take one a day, so that's two months supply. Um, and this is olive leaf extract, and then there's a vegetable casing. But I bought it at a health food store, and it is organic, and I'm sure that all will be well with it. Um, so yeah. I'm, I've added that to my master cleanse. I don't, you're not supposed to take anything else with your master cleanse. He says, Stanley Burroughs, the guy who wrote the book, says that you're not supposed to take any type of vitamin, but I, um, I do think that I need some type of a boost to help kill the yeast, so I'm adding it to my, my lemonade, and we'll see how it goes. Um, two other things that you can try to, especially if you suffer from, uh, like, vaginal candida, um, one, like, I think really well-known, I guess, treatment for it is just like a warm bath or a hot bath with vinegar, white vinegar. Vinegar has 5%, I think it's, what is it, like salicylic acid or salicylic acid, um, which uh, helps, it's antibacterial, antifungal again, so it helps kill off anything that's maybe making you funky down there. Um, and salt water as well. Salt water is actually bathing in salt water is part of the master cleanse. So Stanley Burroughs talks about bathing internally with the salt water, but he also talks about bathing externally with salt water. And um, sea salt water is good for killing bacteria and killing fungus as well. So there you have it, folks. Um, that is the best I've been able to come up with for any type of cure for Canada in a long time researching it. So. Good luck to you, um, and my recommendation is, would be if you do think you have some type of Canada to go and talk to someone right away and to maybe stop by your health food store and talk to someone there and maybe try one of these out. I haven't actually, this is my second day on them, so I'll, try, I'll let you know what happens um, if my yeast goes away or if it stays or how, how, what's going to happen. I don't know. And I don't, I won't know at this point if it was the master cleanse that did it or if it was this that did it, but I don't care at this point. I just want it gone. So, um, yeah. All right. There's my Canada video. Thanks a lot.